Okay, here's another video demo of the stuff I've been working on here on the laser and Mach 3 and getting all the control. Um, I guess the first thing I uh, updated here was uh, flow rate control. And you can see here that this is the actual uh, one second uh, updated uh, 10 second running average of flow rate. And here's my pump, pump set point. So I can set that up to something like two. And um, the uh, pump will begin to respond. You can see it start to go up now. It takes a few seconds to get up there. But uh, you can see um, the uh, actual flow meter turning faster and faster. And I don't know if with the fan and everything on, I don't know if you can hear the uh, pump speeding up. But uh, um, that's running right through the Arduino and going all the way up through USB into the computer and uh, works pretty well. Um, takes a little bit on the higher flow rates to get up to those uh, those set point values but uh, um, it gets there eventually and it's good enough uh, for what we need to do. Um, eventually the uh, the pump set point is probably going to disappear and be controlled by a uh, temperature gauge that um, I plan on mounting in the laser uh, on the laser head uh, right up here. Um, that seems to be probably one of the hotter points that you get in the laser. So I wanted to measure that and control my flow rate to make sure that I was keeping that cool. So um, uh, the other things that I've been working on. Um, is a um, auto-focusing jig. Um, this jig uh, uh, goes right on top of the cart. That magnetic ring uh, matches up with that magnet, and so I just have to pop it on, and the magnet holds it down, and uh, then I can set the auto-focus on whatever I'm working. Um, and I've also gotten a uh, modified Visual Basic script, so the thing is fairly easy to put away. You just gotta get the wire over that, and then I put a screw right down on top of there, and uh, the magnet just holds it in place. It's all out of the way. Nothing's gonna hit. So uh, that wire's long enough. Um, so what I did was uh, I went to the uh, operator edit button script, and um, selected the ref all home and modified this script so that it comes up with a few uh, boxes, check boxes that I can work with. So um, well, I'll go, go ahead and give you a demo of that now. Uh, so here we have the ref all. I click that and this uh, check box uh, pops up and it'll ask me if I want to reference Z, X and Y together, X and Y separate, or the fourth axis, which I have not installed yet, but I have the functionality built in here. So um, let's uh, let's select um, Z, and what it will do is come up with another pick box that will ask me whether or not the Z probe is in place and positioned. If okay, click yes, no, uh, for, and click cancel. Uh, so at this point, I don't have it, so I'll go ahead and click cancel, and it gives me a message box that says set up the uh, Z reference hardware and retry and nothing happens at that point. So uh, I'll go here and grab my probe and um, go ahead and get that on there. This wire can be unwound from these two and it'll reach any area on the table. Um, so that's on there and I, don't, I mean the magnet is strong enough. It's actually it takes a good deal of force to get that popped up off of there. Um, they're the rare earth magnets. So, uh, so that's on and let's say I wanted to cut in that area. Um, and just for the fun of it, I'm going to move my, you know, my Z table down a little bit so it has, you know, it's off the switch um, when it starts. So, uh, there the switch is not engaged and it's just barely touching the surface. So, I'll go back here, uh, come up, and I will say I want to reference Z, and um, click OK, and it'll ask me if it's installed, and I'll click OK this time, 
And in this case, it will go up, get back down. And uh, now the table is set at zero. Um, machine coordinates, and that is set right with the, uh, um, the focal point at this point. So um, then what I can do is just pop that off, put the wire up over the loop, and set it on the magnet. It's out of the way. Uh, so then I'll turn the axes off, and uh, I can move the cart close so I don't have to wait a long time for it to reference. Um, so then I can go back here and choose ref all home and in this case I'll choose the X and Y and it'll reference. Well I'll have to turn this the have to turn the motors back on. So now when I select ref all and I go X Y and click OK it will reference both of them and it is set to home in all three axes now. So that should be ready to go. And uh, anyway, I thought that was kind of neat, fun uh, little project. So uh, um, I guess I'll talk to you next.